We're here at the All Eyes booth at APAO 2023 in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, where we're taking a look at the Visual VR Diagnostic Platform. Let's check it out. Our founders are mostly from Latin America, specifically our CEOs from Cuba. So having a expensive eye testing device is really challenging in our country. So this is why we went with a VR device. It's much more portable that you can take everywhere. In the traditional visual field, they had to sit there and you had to put your head there. Patient finds that uncomfortable. With the older visual field, if you don't get an accurate test, you got to repeat again. And if you go beyond like two or three times, the patient gets exhausted. They are advanced glaucoma. They've been following for about six, seven years. They hated the visual field. They used to get very stressed out. The day they come in for visual field, they'll come and tell me, I didn't sleep last night. So in the last six months, we actually took the patient who struggled with the conventional visual field, we actually put the headset on them. Every time when we do that, they actually come back and tell me that was the best thing they had in visual field. A few of them actually tell me, you are going to do this for me the next round, yeah. right? You're not going to put me on the old machine. All right, so this is exactly like a virtual game. Okay. Headset, you just put it over, then we adjust it. Okay. Tell me, are you comfortable? Very. It's really big and super clear. Okay. Hello, my name is there Annie. Is. I will be your assistant today to help you run the test. We expect that you quickly press the trigger every time you see a white dot while keeping the fixation on this red dot. Then let's start the test. Oh, she's like encouraging me as I'm taking it. So, I mean, Annie explains quite a lot. Yes, Annie speaks multiple languages. I mean, you live in Kuala Lumpur. There's a lot of languages spoken yeah, here. Yeah, so in my practice, we get a lot of Indonesian patients. And if you have your technician who can't speak that language, you will have a problem with visual field. So with this device, you take away that difficulty of communications. Patients find it very easy to just follow the instruction given by Annie. With glaucoma, yeah. it's not just about the initial diagnosis, it's about monitoring as well. Yes. How is the disease progressing? Yes, it's all about monitoring. If you can do home testing and just send in the data and the doctor can just see it in the clinic. It will also reduce crowding. It will also reduce a lot of waiting time. It will also reduce the cost of glaucoma care. With voice recognition, what we're thinking about is all those patients that might not be able to press a button, rheumatoid arthritis, etc. Now with this voice recognition, these patients can accurately and reliably do these tests. All they have to do is say yes or say seen. The software picks it up. We count it as a seen stimulus. It's really exciting. We're rolling this out not only for our visual field, but also for all our other exams. So that's it for us here at the All Eyes booth in KL for APAO 2023. It's pretty clear that this small device is setting a new standard for accessibility, portability, and reliability in ocular testing. So iPals, the time is now to join the new wave of VR devices and eye care with the visual. Visit alleyes.com to find out more and see you next time.